Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all, make it cool. Now today we're gonna do some more of those OS X pimps. And today we're gonna try to pimp that menu bar. You know what I'm talking about, that little strip that goes across the top of your OS X operating system? That's the one. Let's get started, guys. All right, so now what I love about these menu bar add-ons is the fact that um, you don't necessarily have to have a widget. Um, now I know we covered widgets before, but uh, I really like showing off these, uh, these custom backgrounds and these pimps that we're doing, right? So the less I have on my desktop, the happier I am. And I'm assuming it's the same for you guys as well. So, uh, so yeah, menu bar add-ons. I'm gonna show you a few of the ones that I actually went out hunting for and uh, some of the ones that I selected. First thing we're gonna show off is one from Weatherbug. Everybody wants the weather and I don't know if I've seen a Mac user who doesn't have that uh, weather channel widget going on. Uh, well, now I don't really have to have a widget. I can just look up at my menu bar. Now, these uh, typically come in just a zip file, so really easy. You unzip it, and then you launch it. It's just that easy. It's a two-step process. So I've already unzipped my, uh, my weather bug, but now I'm going to show you guys uh, just the ease of, uh, of activating it. So we're just going to double-click it, get it going, and you should see just in my menu bar right up here, going to start up in a second, boom, there you go. Got a lovely 10 degrees here in Toronto, Ontario. So there it is. If I want to see the weather, I don't have to go to my dashboard. I just look up and slightly to the right, and there it is. So now, the next one I want to show you guys is called Bike Controller. Now, what I loved about Bike Controller is that it allows you to uh, control uh, what song you're listening to and play or pause without having iTunes open. So that was pretty cool, because sometimes you're working away and maybe you don't want your boss to know that you got iTunes open. Who knows? But uh, this makes it that much, more, uh, that much more convenient. And I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about here. So just uh, go to my menu bar, gonna click on play, and you'll hear that, uh, hear that music starting to play right then and there. And that's gonna lead into my next menu bar add-on, which I thought was really cool too. And this one's called Sound Source. And what Sound Source does is it allows you to uh, choose the input and output of your audio devices uh, just from your menu bar. And normally to do that, you would have to go into System Preferences, Sound, and then uh, pick and choose that way. Well, no more, because like I said, if there's a lazy way to do it, chances are Lucas is going to find it. So what I'm going to show, uh, show you right now, I'm going to click on Sound Source, and you can see right now on my output, I've got the internal speaker selected. But if I select my USB device here, you can see that that audio changes from there. So really cool, guys, and really convenient, and I'm totally loving this one. Uh, we'll just stop that for now. Now, another one I'm really stoked about as well is called Nocturne. And what Nocturne does is, uh, if you got those headaches, maybe you've been listening to the music a little bit too loud, uh, this is gonna make that all go away, and I'll show you that in just a second. But we'll show you the uh, preference, first of all. Some of the preferences that you have with Nocturne, for example, is you can invert your menu bar, which is a little mini pimp I kinda liked right here. So we'll just do that, and you can see right away that my menu bar has now been inverted, uh, which I find pretty cool. Now, this is the meat of this pimp right here, and this is called uh, Switch to Night Mode, and you'll see what it's gonna do. And uh, there you go, guys. So if you've got a headache, that's gonna dumb that down for you. It hides a desktop background and inverts those bright colors. So if you're hurting for certain, this is the one you want for sure. So now, the last one I'm gonna show you is the one that I am probably the most stoked about. Because uh, if you own a Mac, chances are you covet it, right? You don't want anybody touching it. It means the world to you. So uh, we got a little add-on in the menu bar here that's gonna allow you to uh, make sure that Mac stays protected. Now, one thing you're gonna have to have is your uh, infrared remote control to do this. What we're gonna do is uh, see if I can just look like a hipster guy here. I'm just gonna go, uh, that's right, I'm gonna set my car alarm. I'm just gonna walk away. And then some uh, guy comes up, right? He comes up, he tries to boost that MacBook, All right? So you walk up and you're like, no, no, that's not cool. So you stop it. Now the beauty of this is you can actually see who tried to boost that. So we're just going to open it up here. We're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to click on the Camera tab. And you should see my sneaky face right there trying to make off with my own MacBook. Really weird. Now that one's called iAlert, and uh, it's a free app as well. And like I said, it's, uh, it's absolutely cool, man. I, I went around the office showing this to people, and they were cracking up. Because, I mean, how often have you, can you do this to your computer? You know what I mean? Like, that's the best ever. So. Those are my favorite menu bar items, and uh, I'd actually love to hear if, uh, if I've missed some, or there's some functionality that you find really cool that I haven't uh, touched on yet. Hit me up at lukes at butterscotch.com and let me know what those are, because I'm really curious to see what they got. And I dare you to beat the eye alert, because the car alarm. Come on, guys, come on. Well, that is today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com, and remember, 
Pippinate easy, but now you can register that domain name through Hover.com. They make it easy for us. Just make sure you check out that promo code on the screen right now so you can get a discount on the next domain that you register. And I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!